Welcome to Living With Low. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my 29 week pregnancy update. Um, first things first, I am 29 weeks and two days, which is the equivalent to seven months pregnant, which means I'm 73% of the way through my pregnancy. Like, mind blown, I don't know. Like, I just can't even, cause I'm still just like, okay, is this real? Like, it's happening so fast. Babe will be here in less than nine and a half, ten weeks. Okay, so baby is about the size of an acorn squash, which is approximately about 15.2 inches long and about two and a half pounds, which means baby is packing on the muscle and is definitely starting to gain weight more and more uh, as the pregnancy progresses. At this point, you're probably getting a feel for the personality based on the movement that baby is, uh, you know, doing down below it might be playful jabs it might be more of like a gentle dancer i joke around all the time and say i have more of like a full-on break dancer definitely comment below and let me know what the status is as it relates to baby meat baby cakes if you haven't already definitely make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also click on the bell for notifications so that you are notified whenever i do put out new content it's going to be ramping up as the weeks is getting closer and closer i have so much to share uh one of the things that i definitely forgot to mention in last week's video which was the 28 week video if you haven't already definitely click the link above i will link it just so you can watch it but um i forgot to mention that i got the tdap a shot at my wellness visit and I'm sure a few of you or many of you may have also did the same thing. A Tdap shop is basically just to protect mommy and baby from whooping cough because especially in infants it can be uh, very serious um, and there are there have been like increases in cases in like Minnesota. I'm not near Minnesota in Minnesota so not to worry but I'm, I'm taking all the precautions. How many of you out there at your 28 or 29th with Mark decided also to go in and grab the vaccination at this point baby is taking in a lot of calcium as in as their bones are starting to harden so definitely make sure you are taking in adequate amounts of calcium i definitely take a prenatal and it has the calcium in there but on like maybe like once or twice a week i'll pop an extra vitamin c tablet because i did notice my teeth were starting to ache a little bit and with low my first pregnancy I lost a tooth so I'm definitely trying to prevent that in this pregnancy definitely let me know if you have like the achy teeth uh, are you feeling like a cavity may be coming on uh, that may be attributed to like a calcium deficiency although my blood work came back fine I'm definitely trying to take all the precautions so I definitely got through preparing uh, my hospital bag as it is getting closer and closer to the time for my plan C section in the case that he doesn't come prior to I'm crossing my fingers hoping that everything goes smoothly as planned but you just never know definitely let me know in the comments box below if you're also anticipating an early labor or if you're if you're thinking that baby may just wait it out and you may make it to your either plan C section or delivery due date. I feel like with my pregnancy I've always carried low but my mom and my sister just recently mentioned that I've been carrying lower like they noticed that he's you know burrowing down lower it looks my it looks like my belly has dropped a little bit and I'm like wait, I'm not even in my eighth month yet yeah so you know uh, baby is preparing to, at this point to uh, uh, be head down so that's not surprising that he may seem to be a little bit lower, but I just can't wait to see how it uh, translates with my pregnancy progression. And speaking of like hospital, uh, like hospital bags and stuff like that, has anyone gone on their hospital tour or like visited the hospital ward where you're going to be delivering in the labor and delivery ward yet? So at this point, babe is definitely starting to plump up if you haven't noticed already. So the babe may be putting pressure on your digestive system, and that may look like hemorrhoids, constipation, gas. It could also look like heartburn, pelvic pain, or even frequent urination. 
So getting into symptoms, some symptoms you may experience at week 29 might be headaches or lightheadedness. Headaches might come from like being sleep deprived and you might also experience lightheadedness due to uh, blood sugar levels. So you definitely wanna make sure you're eating in like regular intervals. I did notice that I was having light headaches, but it wasn't anything that was like to the point of a migraine. Equate that to not getting enough sleep. So definitely make sure if you if you can rest as much as possible, especially as baby be scrolling because your body your body is working overtime another symptom you may be experiencing is itchy belly at this point is nothing new but because your your stomach is getting bigger it's getting stretched out your skin is getting thinner which is causing it to become more sensitive so def definitely make sure that you are putting extra lotion on around those problem areas where you are experiencing the itchiness and definitely try to drink as much water as you can your joints and your ligaments are also starting to soften up in preparation for labor and delivery. So also take that into account. You might feel a little achiness. If you can use your back, your back, I was gonna say back brace. <laughs> use your belly band, uh, kick those feet up and definitely use those pillows when you're, whenever you're in the bed. This seems to help a lot whenever I put those little pillows in between my knees. Another not so pretty fact is you may experience hemorrhoids luckily for me i haven't yet experienced that i'm crossing my fingers that i don't run into the issue uh, i did however with my first pregnancy and i was just like what do i do because not to say it was super painful but it definitely wasn't comfortable and that's just because the baby is putting pressure on your intestinal muscles uh, something you can do to combat the hemorrhoids is eating leafy greens drinking lots of water and also getting in a lot of fiber but i have been kind of stacking up on my oatmeal as that is a good source of fiber you can also do like whole wheat uh, cereals and helping aid the digestive process. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I just thought to ask a few quick questions. One being, has everyone already planned or had their baby shower yet? I decided that I am going to pass up the baby shower. I was planning on doing a virtual baby shower, but I just kind of decided not to. At this point, um, I just wanna do like a sip and see. So um, maybe like a few weeks after baby's born, I'm going to send out all of um, the notifications to everybody and if they want to like get something off of a registry that's cool so definitely let me know what your plans are as it relates to virtual baby showers baby showers also i want to know has anyone planned a baby moon i look forward to hearing back some uh from you guys but definitely drop in the comments below how everything's going as it relates to your pregnancy regression um and keep your girl updated so i will be seeing y'all in the next video um if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up for me and that's it i'll see you guys later bye so I